I'm Ruth Milkman. I'm chief of the Wireless Telecommunications Bureau. So I was always really interested in journalism. I edited my high school newspaper and I edited my law school newspaper and that gave me a strong interest in communications, particularly on the media side. One of the things that was most striking to me was the advent of DSL and cable modem service because that was the first time you had always on internet access and that really changed the way people uh, use the internet. So we're talking about the nation's airwaves, which power everything from ham radio, marine radio, aviation radio, to your cell phone and your iPad and your smartphone. And the biggest challenge we have right now is that demand for spectrum is just skyrocketing. People are using data in gigabytes, and that means that they consume they need a great deal more spectrum. We're constantly trying to make sure that the spectrum is in its most valuable use. We're trying to move away from a command and control structure to a more market-based structure. We're sort of in mid-transition. The amount of spectrum is going up like this, and the demand for spectrum is going up like this. So our biggest challenge is this gap. First of all, we have to make sure that all the spectrum is used as efficiently as possible. The TV white spaces that we're so excited about because you will for the first time have devices that know where they are, can check a database to find out who else is there, and can switch to a channel on which there isn't anybody else present. I think we may look back and find out that that's the most disruptive technology of this decade. I think it might surprise people to know how much time is spent uh, with disaster planning, figuring out what's going on with various weather and other emergencies and making sure that the wireless resources, the licensing, the frequencies are in place. I think it's very useful to have data out there and one of the reasons it's useful is because it's used in unanticipated ways. One is our spectrum dashboard which lays out on the web for the first time uh, an interactive way of trying to figure out what spectrum is used for what.